Though cold and often remote, the icy reaches of the Arctic, Antarctic, and other frozen places affect the lives of everyone on Earth. So these changes are real and they're happening. And what we're trying to do at NASA is, like I say, to go out and characterize this ice, understand how it works. How is it affected by ocean currents? How is it affected by winds? How is it affected by sunlight? So that we can correlate that with the changes we see in the atmosphere and develop better predictive models. Now, why should you care if you don't live in the Arctic areas? So that's a really good question. And the fact is this. All this stuff we talk about when you retreat the ice cover and you heat the ocean up with more sunlight, you also have to think about there's going to be more water evaporating to the atmosphere. There's a lot of other exchanges going on. That's going to change the way that the Earth's climate works. And we expect weather patterns over North America to change. Now, this stuff is very, very difficult to model. But the most recent models suggest is that if we lose the Arctic ice cap, we may have more drought in North America. So these are important things for us to learn about and plan for and deal with. Today I want to talk about something that most of you already know. It's hot outside. It's really hot. And if this feels worse than normal, that's because it is. We just found out that July was the warmest month on record. Warmer than any other month since we began keeping track more than a century ago. On top of all this heat, we're also experiencing one of the worst droughts in over 50 years. Told us all to go and find our dreams Work hard And we could change the world Well, we all went out Did what we could But just because you can Doesn't mean you should Three billion of us, yeah We really changed the world One thing I'd still like to see Is wisdom keeping up with technology Cause wisdom it seems Is in short supply